and what Donald says, yes. so I'm, I'm really back. Donald Cohen says, the focus of our, you said, the focus of our teaching should be on training the performer's brain. We can't really train the muscles, we train the brain which controls the muscles. Exactly. Yes. I agree with what I said. Very Good. <laughs> and of course, if you want me to explain that, yeah. what it is that we have um, uh, in the brass player's embouchure, a classic example of um, function in the embouchure where you can classify it as a reed activity and vibration or vibration is set up and uh, transmitted through the instrument where it's amplified and given color and we have our overtone series and our fundamentals involved with it and yet and we will feel through the lips in other words we will feel actually the sensations of the embouchure based on the fifth cranial nerve which is sensory but the function is coming from the seventh cranial nerve which is carrying the message from the brain comes right down behind the ear, comes across here, and it will, at the level of the lip, become the motor nerve of the embouchure. So when I think a uh, pitch, it's automatically sent to the embouchure. Sing a note for me. If I were to go to A sharp, you don't really see anything in the lip here. Well, something is making it go up. <clears throat> in other words, a vibration is speeding up, just as, as, as you're saying it. And it's very easy because I'm simply, in my brain, sending a higher pitch, the A sharp. I'm hearing it in my head very definitely. It's coming down the motor nerve to the embouchure. The embouchure is simply reading out my thought. Now, if I didn't have the thought, Many people will try to make the adjustments based on the lip musculature. Mm -hmm. Actually, to communicate with the lip musculature would be very difficult without going through the seventh cranial nerve, which is the motor nerve. And there's really no message going to it unless you have it in your brain. Some of this uh, will develop based on the habits of the player that he forms over many years and will reach subconscious levels of the brain where automatically when he sees a pitch he hears it mm -hmm. and doesn't even think of it, just takes it for granted. Mm -hmm. But this is the type of training that we want where, well say if you're a fighter and you want to hit somebody in the nose, you got to see the nose and put your fist on it. You can't think about what's happening in the muscles of the shoulder girdle at that time or the weight of the scapula might be uh, heavier or lighter than the weight of the arm, the weight of the arm would be heavier, and normally if the scapula weren't being strapped down by another muscle, the scapula would raise because the arm is heavier. Mm -hmm. Gravitational changes occur in the body where the balance would shift as soon as uh, your arm is pushed forward to strike that nose. Now the brain, this wonderful biocomputer aspect of it, is adjusting musculatures all over your body to do this sort of thing. Uh, actually, while you're training the blow, you are training the brain. Now what we have to make sure is that the student realizes that there is a thought process involved in this. He has to have the motivation of what he's trying to accomplish. He has to hit the person in the nose. Mm -hmm.